guys, I just got back from watching Super 8. Um, I went and checked it out. I took my little girl to go with me to go see it. And the movie, of course, is directed by J.J. Abrams, who done, who's done movies uh, Cloverfield and, of course, you know, 2009's Star Trek reboot. And then, of course, it's also produced by Steven Spielberg, which I don't need to name off what, all what he's done. He's done great movies in the past. Well, they kind of teamed up and did this movie Super 8. And they've been basically, you know, showing the trailer since 09, since Star Trek, you know, on this big movie that he had coming out. Big monster movie is what it was called. And the thing is, after go watching it, and, you know, the previews and everything I watched on this was like, okay, I wasn't too sold on it yet, but... I had nothing better to do today, so I went and actually went and checked it out. So, here's what I think of it. It was actually pretty good. Um, I've read a lot of reviews where people are like, you know, it's good, but it's, you know, it could have been better. And, and that's basically the same way I feel. It could have been better. It took a lot of elements of previous movies that I've kind of seen before. And kind of made me feel like I was watching a newer version of these movies. Uh, it felt like Close Encounters of the Third Kind. It felt like Cloverfield. Which of course explains both of those. Because they're both by the same people who did those. Um, I also had the feeling of Stephen King's The Mist in there a little bit. Um, but like I said, I thought the movie um, did pretty well. And did what it was supposed to do, and it kind of left you suspenseful the whole time. And just overall, I thought the movie was pretty decent, and it is definitely, I would say, not one to really go check out in theaters. Maybe if you want to wait to DVD to watch this movie, it's probably a better idea. It's just, I don't think going to go to the theater to see it real big. Um, like I said, I was kind of bored and wanted to go give my opinion on it and see what what it was like i didn't have nothing else to do today but basically i mean it cast the cast is completely mostly all unknown there is a few people i've recognized from here and there um one of the soldiers is the doctor that was in the walking dead and stuff and for the most part all the actors are you know all the adult actors were kind of lackluster to me it, i got more in you know, entertainment out of watching the kids act. And that part is where it felt like I was watching E.T. in a ways. On how they were acting and portraying. I mean, the movie is, takes place in 1979. These kids are filming a horror film. A zombie horror film. And they happen to be at the train station when this train derails. And something, of course, happens from there on out. I don't want to really say too much about the movie. It just the fact of what it's like. Like I said, it felt like Close Encounters of Third Kind and stuff like that. So if you know that movie, you kind of know where I'm going with what, you know, the creature is and stuff like that. And it was, like I said, it was interesting. I definitely would say rent it when it comes on DVD and give it a shot. But the, guys, that's my review of Super 8. I know it's kind of short and sweet. Um... But if you've checked it out, let me know what you think of the movie down below in the comment box. And until next time.